Okay, so this is my progress so far. Uh, it's been about five days building this application. I'm going to go ahead and log in as a user that has data. All right, so I have a bug. It's not loading in my username, but I have some cool functionality here. This is data already stored in the database. Uh, I can go ahead and add something new, like um, we'll just say test data. We'll call it a comic book manufacturer. Well, I don't know genre. Say others. Um, it's common condition mint price paid. 245 market price let's say 345 I'll go ahead and hit create and where it's created that is in the grid and you'll see there it is right there which is pretty cool the grid is using easy grid and the form here is just the standard uh, submission form moved to the index page um, the other thing I added to recently, uh, last, this is what I've been working on last couple days, I also added, I got the exporting working, so if you click on this, it exported a, uh, well, I don't have Excel on here, let me, let me do something I actually have, we'll do an RTF, and there it is, so there's my grid data, it's totally exported out. Uh, it does these other formats as well, PDF, ODS, and so forth. The other new thing I added was to get an idea of the market value, I went ahead and got an eBay developer account. And I was able to make some calls to their API to grab and parse back data for something. So let's say I type in a trading card like... Oh, let's get one that I know is going to have good data. Um, this guy. Okay, so this guy, DJ Fluker, trading card. I'm going to go ahead and hit submit. All right, and I'm going to collapse this. This also collapses. And the data loads back into the index page. And you can see that it is uh, right here. You've got the last cells from eBay. You have an autograph card that sold for $2. Um, another one that sold for $0.99. Cents, and you got another one that sold for $0.69. Cents. Um, so, I mean, it's interesting. The eBay um, API is pretty cool. It does a, has a lot of great features. I think the next thing I'm going to do is add in the links from eBay because that also comes back and put them in there and maybe the image of the card that was used in the listing if it existed um, and that's pretty much it for now not really sure what more I'm going to do with this I do need to fix this bug up here um, but uh, reg user registration works I, it works like this, I'll go ahead and log out I need a home page also, but I uh, say I'll register a new user. We'll make up a username, test user, email, my email, and we'll just type in Okay, sent an email to my email address, and let's see if it came in. Yep, there it is. Click on it, and uh, if I log, if I go back in, it would normally say "Welcome, test user," but that's like I said, currently broken. Broken. There's no data for this user, so if we type in something like, um, I don't know, 1926 silver dollar coin uh, manufacturer is not applicable. The genre is other. Um, it's a relic. It's in mint condition. I paid, let's say I paid 
uh, $45 for it and let's say the market price I don't know so if I create there it is and if I wanted to research that 1926 silver dollar I don't even know if it exists if it doesn't exist I do have a bug that okay looks like I got some data back um, okay so it says the 1926 silver dollar is worth about anywhere from 23 to 35 dollars um, and I could update that looks like I overpaid <laughs> and that's another thing I need to do is add an edit and a delete to the data that's uh, user user added um, I do need to do that I've been thinking about adding a column in here with icons to edit or delete or just make this clickable the description you click on it and it would load maybe an edit screen that also has a delete option um, I think that's it